this video is about waves on ropes with an open boundary condition. Waves on ropes. Open, let's see, one open, one closed. Of course, our argument will also work just as well for sound in a tube. So an organ pipe, for instance, where we've got an open end and a closed end will have exactly the same frequencies possible. So I'll set it up just as I did in the previous video. I'll get you some boundaries. I'm gonna say that this boundary is my fixed boundary or closed boundary, and this boundary will be my open boundary. My fixed or free boundary on, sorry, fixed on one side and open or free boundary on the other side. <clears throat> so, you know that a fixed boundary begets a node and you know that an open boundary begets an antinode. So our first possible wave is incredibly simple. There is a node here and an antinode here. And that's what it looks like. So I guess we've got this thing right there where it can go up or down. And our next, this will be the first harmonic our next will simply be um, a node here and an antinode here. We're going to have to have an antinode at this side each time. And then we're going to have to add one more node. Just in the same pattern as we had in the last video, you're adding additional nodes in the middle. <clears throat> so if I put a node, I guess that node's going to appear right here. So I'll go up and then down and there. And then I'll go down and then up and there. This is my second harmonic. And my third harmonic is going to have, ooh, my, sec my second harmonic had one node in the middle. My third harmonic is going to have two nodes in the middle. So I guess I'll need one here and one here. So, and then I'm gonna have to have an antinode at this end over here. So I gotta go up and then down and then up and then down and then up and then down. All right, that's my third harmonic. And my fourth harmonic, again, we're going to add one additional node in the middle. I've gotta have a node here and a node here and a node here. And then I'm gonna have an open boundary on that side. So I'll go up and down and up and down and end and then down and up and down and up and end, okay? Oh, I guess I'll do one more. We do one more, we'll, we'll definitely catch a pattern at that point. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna put four nodes in the middle. Boom, 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 boom. And then open boundary condition here. Up and down and up and down and up and over. Down and up and down and up and down and over. Okay, <clears throat> this is the fifth harmonic of this system. So for each of these, we need to determine, I'll get my primrose out here again, we need to determine how much of the wave fits into this distance L right here. And again, I will label this as L and go from here to here. How much of the wave fits in that distance L? Well, maybe it's easier to see, oh, this is a little bit tricky. How much of a wave is that? Well, let me draw you a full wave. For reference's sake, well, we can't really, oh man. Let me remind you of full wave. Yeah, here, see that? That's a full wave. It goes up and then down and comes back to equilibrium again. So this would only be that much of a wave. This is very important. Sometimes it's a little sticky for students the first time. That is how much we've got over there. And what fraction of a wave is that? Why, it's just a quarter. So I'm gonna say L is one quarter of a wavelength. That means in order to get a full wave, I would actually need four more, four times as much of a rope there, <clears throat> or four times as long of an organ pipe, a tube of air. And this right here, well, check this out. This is not even a full wave. So here I can write L equals, mm-hmm, L equal, well, how much do we have now? Now we've got starting from here and going to here. What fraction of a wave is that? Well, I guess it's three quarters. It's most of a wave, but not the whole thing. And uh, this would be lambda one, this is lambda two. And here we've got, oh shoot, here's a wave. That's a full wave. And then we've got some leftover. How much of it is left over? Exactly as much as we had right there. So this is going to be, 
Well, let me see if I can write it in a careful way. It's more, it's one wave and a quarter. Well, that's five quarters waves. Ooh, now you're seeing a pattern. Interesting. What about this guy right here? <clears throat> We're gonna have a full wave here and an additional three quarters of a wave. So that's seven quarters of lambda four. And this is L is nine. Check it out. We got one full wave and two full waves and an additional quarter. That's nine quarters lambda fifth. So then we can do the same thing as we did last time. So we can say that lambda one is four times L and lambda two is three, wait a second, four thirds times L and lambda three is, whoa, four fifths L. See how I'm getting these? They're coming from these equations right here. Just doing some algebra, no problem. And then lambda four, lambda four must be, mm, man, we've got a four up top and a seven down in the denominator of L, and they're getting smaller. The wavelength is getting smaller. Of course the wavelength's getting smaller. I'm fitting more of them in the same length. Dang it. Four ninths L. Let's put a general here. Lambda sub N. Can we see this? It's four L divided by, now what am I doing to this N? Somehow I'm getting five goes to nine, and four goes to seven, and three goes to five, and two goes to three, and one goes to one. Well, it looks like I'm taking two times N, and then I'm subtracting one. Wow, that's kind of fancy. All right, but that is what wavelengths fit in a particular rope of a certain length if one end is fixed and the other end is open. So what I need to do beyond that is I need to start investigating what that frequency might be. So let's go purple on that one. Go purple or go home is what I always say. F sub N, well that's gonna be V divided by lambda, so I'm just gonna have to plug in this value for lambda here. And I'm gonna say V, it's gonna be whatever V is, V divided by four times L, and then I have to multiply by two N minus one. Interesting. This is the frequency that would be given if one end of a pipe is open. And I'm gonna leave as an exercise for you because I think you're getting a little bit better at these things. If not, watch the previous video again. But I think you're getting a little better and I'd like you to try this challenge. What if both ends of a tube are open? What kinds of waves could exist? And I guess the first kind that could exist with a double open tube would be like this. I could have as a possibility an antinode here and a node at the middle and an antinode there. So that would be like this. It would go down like that and down like that. And I guess the only question that you need to answer is this is the first harmonic. This is the very simplest wave that can exist if both ends of a tube are open. The question that you need to answer is what fraction of a wave is that? And then ultimately you'll be able to get F sub N if both ends of our tube are open. Good luck and put it in the comments if you've got it.